there's no like ideal thing that you're supposed to do for self-love, self-care. To be honest, it's it's the beauty industry. It's all these wellness industries. They're, they're just trying to make money off of you. So it doesn't have to look like what it looks like on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere. It, yeah, it's I, I, up to you I, I, to create that. Yes, I speak very loud about it in The Ultimate yeah. Zen. Um, I, I speak that. very loud about um, we have to dismantle and banish the oppressor within us. And the oppressor within us is you know, happened through colonization and colonization happened to all of us, whether you believe it or not, not just to my indigenous um, family and ancestors, but to every single one of us, because colonization is taking your birthrights, taking your belief systems, taking um, your truth and diluting it and turning it into something like an industry now where wellness Mm -hmm. and self-care and spirituality and witchcraft, it's all turned into an industry where you have to have these tools, you have to have these crystals, you have to have these candles, right? I know. And people think buying more of that will make them more spiritual when it's not true. It's not true. In truth, they are tools that will Mm -hmm. help amplify, but they're not going to work if you're not connected to yourself and if you haven't built a true relationship with yourself. So the healing part of the journey as a human and the healing comes, not that it's not that you're supposed to heal at when you come into this world, but because of the way the world is, we've suffered so many traumas. We suffered so many identity um, confusions because we take on what everyone else tells us. If your mom told you, for instance, when you were young, you know, you're, you don't clean good enough or you're not, you know, you're not fast enough or you're not pretty enough or whoever said anything negative to you, you start to take on these um, subconscious identities and titles onto yourself. And then you start to create this character where you start to believe these things. So the healing journey is to really strip yourself from those things that make you feel like you aren't whole. Those things that really don't speak truth to who you are. It's a reparenting. It's a relearning and a rebirth of your true self. In that space, when you start to connect to your true self, that is where the magic happens because from that space, your intentions are actually real intentions. They're not intentions that are coming from this person that you created or went along with and have this false notion of an intention that they probably want to create in their life. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it does make sense because sometimes what people want is not what they actually want. It's what like everyone else has told them to want. And so it's it's like making sure you're asking the real you and get connecting to the, the inner true you. I wanted to ask you, how do you know, or I guess, how do you connect and know that this is the real you? Yeah, so that is you have where practices. the practices. Yes, mm-hmm. that is definitely where the work comes in. The only thing that I can say is don't be scared of this kind of work, like inner child work, shadow work, all that should come after you start creating a relationship against with yourself. So I always suggest, like I suggest in a book, work on self-patience, work on self-trust, Work on setting boundaries and self-boundaries. Work on identifying where these negative voices are coming from and find the root cause of them. So what you do is, I my favorite thing to do is make a list of things that, you know, tell you that you're unworthy, that you're not good enough. Write them all down and then try to remember, meditate on it if you have to and see where originally that came from. Where was it said to you? What experience caused that? And then sit with that experience or that rooted cause and ask yourself, is this true? Is this really true? And you're going to find that a lot of the things that you say to yourself or the voices in your head tell you are not true about you because there is no way that your divine self would suggest that you aren't good enough to go for your dreams, to manifest what you want, to live a divine life. So it's really important to build a great and trustworthy, strong foundation of a relationship with yourself. 